Okay, everyone, um, back to isolation. And we're in the back garden now, for example, and we want to train our dog on different things. So what we can do is looking at isolating some of the commands. So making sure, for example, the hunt command, does my dog truly understand hunt? And so what I'm going to do is just throw a dummy behind him. I'm going to keep my body language still, standing still, and just say the word. You can use your whistle if you have a hunt command, it doesn't matter what it is. But what I want to do is no body language from me and see if the dog will hunt on command. First, how I do it is just quickly throw a dummy behind him. Not far. No, sir. And he turns around and picks. Okay? It's always easy to get a dog to turn uh, towards us or left and right to hunt. Very hard to get a dog to hunt behind. That's why I start off with this process. So now, next phase, cover his eyes. He can hear it. He can look at it. But he hasn't seen me throw it. No, sir. Good boy. Okay, keeping that nice tight area. I don't want it thrown further away. I want it tight. Good lad. Okay. So finally, finally, if everything's all working right, good boy. Lost, sir. Lost. 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 Good lad. So we can make sure, right, that the hunting command is isolated. Keyword now. But making sure everything's working in the right direction, the right pace, at the right time.